After the craziness that was Team Rocket Edition, you guys recommended I check out another story heavy ROM hack, Pokemon Adventure Red. A ROM hack that is an adaptation of the Pokemon Adventures manga. And you know, I've never actually read the Pokemon manga before. Believe it or not, I don't really enjoy reading. But over the years, I've heard so many good things about it, many claiming it's the best adaptation of the Pokemon universe. So I gave in. I finally bought the Pokemon Adventures manga and I intend on reading it in my spare time. The goal is to stay ahead in the manga of where I'm at in game so I don't get spoiled. I'll keep you guys updated on how that goes. For now though, let's check out Pokemon Adventure Red. Welcome everybody to Adventure Red. This is a ROM hack I've, I've known for, for goddamn years, but you know, until recently, uh, I've not been into the story heavy ROM hacks. I was always, I was always about the, the Fakemon and the, just, just, just the, the Fakemon really. <laughs> so yeah, I appreciate you guys giving me a chance to check out, uh, I guess what other ROM hacks there are, you know, besides just the, the one with the fake Pokemon. Um, and of course, if you want me to continue this series, leaving a like is the best way to let me know. What is your name? Uh, my name is Cal. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna name myself Cal. Ooh, should I do it? in all caps though get that uh, that good third gen vibe now nah, we'll, we'll 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 do the we'll do we'll do it we'll do it properly is this your first time playing this game yes absolutely cool i wonder what differently would have happened if i said no this is a wicked woman escaping alone is going to use up all my energy but i don't intend to leave empty-handed young boy don't tell me you want deoxys that's right deoxys entity 2 is a pokemon of incredible strength how can i just let it go uh, freely so easily it wasn't easy for deoxys to regain its freedom we won't let you retake it and it looked like there was like red, blue, green, yellow, and someone else. Oh, I didn't really pay attention there. And then young girl, boy with red, <laughs> boy with red hair. Was it, is that silver? Maybe. Anyways, well, well, well. He 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 he. It seems like something unexpected happened when the attack intended for Deoxys struck them instead. Deoxys may have escaped, but it seems I've reaped in an even bigger reward. He 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 he. Well, done indeed. Goodbye forever, my dear Pokédex owners. Uh. Okay. No, this can't be. Lorelai, please. We can't let Blue's parents see this. We need to contact Bill quickly. What is what is going on? Prologue. Ten years ago. Wait, what? Okay. Uh, just one more attack to get the HP bar down to red. The Wild Articuno fled. What? What are you playing, bro? Mela. Okay. Young man. Put that controller down and go play outside. But I'm so close to catching all 150 Pokemon in the game. No buts, young man. Go outside and get some fresh air. Yes, mom. Oh, some, it's a British game, dude. I hate it when she calls me young man. I have a name. They did a good job at making the sprite actually look like a, a kid. Like, they did a really good job. There's Pokemon on TV. It looks like it's having fun. Was I playing like Let's Go Pikachu and Let's Go Eevee or something? Like, why did the Arcuno fled, bro? Like, oh, wait. Maybe Pokemon Diamond and Pearl? It's not the time to play Minecraft. Okay, so there's Minecraft in the Pokemon universe, apparently. Hmm, I've just noticed that all my clothes are red. Well, that's Cap because I have. I don't have red jeans. What are you talking about? It's crammed full of Pokemon books. Okay, anyways, uh, let's go ahead and uh, move on. Or our, our star adventure, Meowth. I don't exactly know how this ROM hack works. I, I, it says it's an, ad, ad, an adaptation on the Pokemon manga, so I don't think they just took the Pokemon manga and made it into a video game. I think they've done more with it, um, which is super cool, I guess. You know, it, mean, it means that I'm not just going to be reading the manga and then playing the manga. You know, there's there's more to it than that. Uh, anyways, I, I, I've got to go outside and get some fresh air, bro. It's 8 p.m., dude. I don't know if I should be outside right now. This is where Oak lives, though. Looks like no one's home. I should probably change the tech speed. Okay, they're always... Oh, is this, is this green? Little girl. Oh, wait, no, this is blue, technically. Wait, yeah, I think they're doing it based on the Japanese manga. Uh, I'm waiting for my mom and papa. What's your name? It's Cal. What's yours? My name is actually... My mom and papa told me to never give strangers my name. Y you know... Y yeah, sure. For sale. Just a casual house for sale? <gasps> oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Is this what... Oh, I know what this means. Polly. Huh? Polly? Are you scared? It's all right, little fella. I won't hurt you. Polly, Polly. Ha ha ha. Dude, that's my bestie. Goodbye, gramps. Oh, mama, papa, where are you? Bro, M mama, papa, where are you? And that's Ho-Oh's cry, okay? I'm pretty sure that was Ho-Oh. I'm like second guessing myself right now. End of prologue. Chapter one, Phantom Pokemon. Yeah, so this game split up into chapters five years later. Uh, so I must have been like five or six there. I don't know how they old they are in the manga. And anyway, okay, okay, buddy. We have officially signed up for the Indigo League. Soon we will be facing the strong trainers all around the Kanto, all around Kanto. Don't worry, buddy. You and I can defeat anyone who dares to fight us. We're the best. So yeah, in the manga, the, as I was reading it, they didn't really explain how red just had a poly world so that's pretty cool that this game kind of kind of gave a little little bit of context as to how it could have went down oh my arc i didn't even get to read what was going on there come on buddy let's help her out all right what's going on over here why does it keep breaking out the ball i give up i give up you have to weaken a pokemon before you attempt to capture it can you please help me no problem 
dude i'm doing the capture tutorial in this game this game let's go you have a pokemon does it have a name sure does my buddy's name is oh my god what do i name a polyworld this name fits perfectly let's go all right here we go cool so i'm gonna fuck up this neat arena Oh wow, he just he just appears. That that's that's really strange. Uh cool. Nice little UI. Uh don't really yeah, I'm level five poly polyworld. Yep, that's about right. I mean it's the Pokemon manga. Rules just go out the window completely. Bedtime. Uh it's time for the Pokeball. Did I say Pokeball? I meant bubble. Dude, my brain is scrambled. See, I don't have any balls to capture it, so I I guess I just kill it, right? Bye bye. Oh my Arceus, you did it. Thank you. Thank you. Let me repay you by healing your Pokemon. I'm gonna go play with my new Nidorino. Thank you. Hey man, enjoy the Nidorino. You're welcome. What should we do now, buddy? Hmm, how about we find some trainers in the forest? Awesome, dude. Yeah, I, I, I vaguely, I'm on like page 100 of the manga right now, which isn't really far in. I'm like at the part where they're at Mount Moon or whatever. Uh, oh, oh, he came back. Hello. Oh, uh, that, hmm, I guess that wasn't meant to happen. <laughs> oh my God. Yeah, dude. They did, they're doing a really good job. Yeah, I remember vaguely, I think Red does help out a girl catch an eater, you know, and then he bumps into a rocket grunt in the, uh, in the forest. Dude, okay, okay, watch it, you little maggot. Sorry. Uh, I'm looking for the phantom Pokemon to so get lost. That guy has Pokeballs on him. He must be a Pokemon trainer. Oh, Red. So vague. So, I was going to say so vague. It literally makes no sense. Caterpie! I'm sorry, kid. You were just the wrong place at the wrong time. All right, so we can fuck up some Team Rocket grunts. Dude, luckily, it's raining, so I have the advantage. Oh, they did little custom Pokeballs. I think it's custom. It looks custom. I really don't want to hurt a little kid, but we can't have anyone interfering with our plans. So off the rip, we are introduced to Team Rocket. Big difference to the original, you know, Fire Red Leaf Green. And I guess how that story goes down. His name is Fatsimo? What? How are you going to judge me for what I'm wearing? What are you wearing? I want to be a famous actress, but my agent told me that I look way too generic. Do I look generic to you? Nah, man. You're right. I totally agree. I'm an individual and I have my own unique features. Absolutely. Oops, I just dropped my balls. Do you mind picking up my balls? Come on. They're on the floor. Uh, somewhere over here. Is there any? Dude, where's the man's balls? Guys, I've been playing. I got a PS5 recently and I've been playing Ratchet and Clank. Dude, that game is fucking flawless, man. Like that that game is for real flawless. I think it's it's like a it's like a must play in my opinion. If you if you guys ever get your hands on a PS5, play Ratchet and Clank. My favorite game before this was Mario Odyssey, but I think this new Ratchet and Clank game might be my new number one. I I I, I just it's so good. It's so good, dude. I'm not sure if i'm vibing with how pallet town's built i mean okay i guess it is still kanto because this is the this is like south okay so it's just pallet town but like a little bigger i don't i don't mind it it's just you know i'm so used to knowing where like how pallet town's position position so i'm just like this is it pallet town but it, it still is viridian forest is so close uh that's the crazy scientist lab i better avoid it oh okay okay huh i could have swore something was behind me <laughs> what what is that pokemon could that be the fandom pokemon no, wait. Damn. Where did it go? So yeah, the phantom Pokemon is Mew. I knew that. Hmm, there's no sign of the phantom Pokemon here. Hey, hey, you, you're not part of us. This is like the one of the first Pokemon games I've played where the main character having dialogue doesn't weird me out. That's the phantom Pokemon. Oh shit, okay. Yep, there's my goat. Damn it, someone beat me to it. Charmander return. Sorry, Charmander return. <laughs> That's how he sounds. What are you doing? You almost had it out of my way. It's my turn. Bruh. Hello. It's level five. What the hell? Oh my God. It's tail is so big. I'm actually going to beat its ass. What the fuck? Oh, oh, there's that. There's that. There's that water absorb. You can't fool me. You can't fool me, Mew. You can't fool me. Ack. I literally won. I literally won. Bye bye, Mew. Can you tell from that battle that I just had that it was stronger than me? That is why I called back my Charmander. I, I lost? You have to know your limitations. Otherwise, you're only being yourself. Dude, blue or green rather. And I'm so used to calling him blue. Green in the manga is so swag, bro. I can't believe I lost. End of the Phantom Pokemon chapter. Chapter two, missing Pokemon. I like that it's split up into little chapters. S -s so cold. That's what happens when you play in the rain. I wasn't playing, mom. I was training. Training, like father, like son, I suppose. As if I would ever be as good as dad. All right, Cal, that's enough sulking. Go see Professor Oak. That weird scientist guy? Cal, I did not raise you to make fun of other people. I'm sorry, but what's the point of meeting him? Professor Oak is a Pokemon researcher. You might learn a thing or two from him. I'll pass. Young Matt! All right, all might fucking hell. I, I was kidding, I'll go now. By the way, Cal, I bought you some new clothes. <gasps> the fashion box. If you want to change your clothes, so just select fashion box in your bag. All right, take care, honey. Okay. Yeah, I saw something about that on the uh, website. Or the, the website, the, uh, the the ROM hack page. Fire Red Leaf Green. Get some Fire Red Leaf Green drip up in here. Let's check this out. Okay, this is the Fire Red Leaf Green drip. What else do we have here? Date. I don't have that costume yet. Special. 
I don't have that call. Okay, so we've got to unlock these. That's pretty cool though. I like that. Rocket. Yeah, okay. I like that. I like that. There's a bunch of clothes. Uh, I might just go with the original one for now. Ooh, the fire relief green was kind of better. Yeah, you know what? I'll stick with this one for now. All right, let's check this out. Professor Oak's lab. What's going on? I like that they like kind of, I guess, show him as like this crazy professor. Oh, he's not home. Oh, what the hell? Okay. Epic start selection. I'm definitely choosing Spiro. I thought it'd be a lot messier. All right, well, I guess I'm gonna go over here. What's going on, guys? How are you guys doing? Hey, Bulbasaur. Oh, cool. It's a Bulbasaur. Should I hold it? I want to hold him like a burger. Oh, yep. There he is. What are you doing? You're a thief, aren't you? Ah, you idiot. Oh, oh, bye bye. Yep. I mean, they were literally just standing on the table. Like I didn't do any of the, I, I, I'm so sorry. Just get them back. Okay. If I remember, maybe I was being too harsh. If I remember correctly. Oh, Hello, Squirrel feels left alone. If I remember correctly in the manga, Oak is kind of like, I think Oak is is like, it, it, Red is more insistent. Like, I'll get them back for you. Uh, you know, Red's like, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I messed up. I'll get them back. And Oak's like, I'll, I'll come with you. I'll come with you. You know, like just, just to make sure he does it. So this is, that was a little bit, that was a little bit dismissive and different. But like th those, those, uh, those, those differences are, are what I'm going to be trying to look out for. Um, and that's why I'm excited to read the manga alongside playing the game. Anyways, yes, I found Angry Bird. Oh, shit. I have to fight it. Oh, well, at least he's not super under leveled. We have a Jigglypuff over here. How do I? Wait, I'm smart. I promise. There's Jigglypuff. Hey, what the f- Oh, it's- Yeah, in the manga, Jigglypuff's shiny and has a microphone. Oh, wait, in the anime, at least. I don't know about the Jiggly mic. Wait, what the fuck? Dude, this thing is so strong. I don't understand why that thing had such busted stats. Gotcha. All right, I guess the others must be in the forest. Oh, oh, hello. Don't you dare try to run away, you thief. Go find all my Pokemon or I'll be calling Officer Jenny. That's just not how it went down, man. They did it wrong. They did say it was an adaptation however. To be honest, they probably just don't want to bore you with a bunch of like dialogue that's kind of like not necessary. Because if they just copied all the dialogue from the manga, then it would just be like, all right, come on now. Don't need all that. Hello, Cubone. Surprised Cubone decided to fight me. Oh, oh, Bulbasaur. Hello, hello, hello. He's, he's fucked off. Bye bye. Yoink. Oh, I found a miracle seed. That's so convenient. I wonder if there's going to be a grass type Pokemon I'm catching anytime soon. That grass type Pokemon I potentially catch anytime soon could make use of that miracle seed that was conveniently placed. Oh, there he is. Hey. Phew, I finally found you. Don't let it get away. Bulba Bulba. Dog. He was... I'll go after it. Nice try. But you're not going anywhere, thief. I'm not a thief. Sorry I trespassed your property and I'm sorry that I accidentally let your Pokemon loose, but we have to get them back. Ah, it's too late now. That Bulbasaur left Pallet Town. It could be anywhere now. It's fine. I'll get it back. All right. I'm coming with you. After I get my Bulbasaur back, you'd better believe that I'm going to turn you in. Okay. So, that, okay. There, there it is. That, that That's kind of a bit more accurate to, to the manga. Oak said, I'm a snitch. All right, Red One, let's go. Oh, hey, there's just Dodu. I was chilling. Hey, bestie. How do they decide? the subtitles for Pokemon Cries, by the way. Like, I don't think... Po that doesn't really... Quay Quay doesn't really sound like Doduo's cry. Hi, my name is Coco. I run the Doduo farm out here on Route 1. I need to find a careful trainer to take care of one of my Doduos. Cool. Just just don't even consider me at all. That's fine. The Spiro looks shiny. Should I battle it? Yeah. Oh, what the fuck? There's just a shiny... What? What the fuck? I don't have Pokeballs! It's fine. I wouldn't be caught dead using a Spiro. There's a lot of Spiros that are in our one. In fact, I once saw a shiny Spiro on Monday. What? That's a Monday thing? Are you serious? Wow. Hopefully he just respawns next Monday. Oh, here we are. Huff, huff. We finally made it all the way to Viridian City. Yet, there's still no sign of that Bulbasaur. Where could it be hiding? Maybe someone has seen it. Let's split up and cover more ground. Don't you dare run away. Dog, I've... I... Yeah. You know, I was trespassing. It's fair to be it's fair it's fair to be concerned. Have you have I seen a bulbasaur? What's a bulbasaur? Can I eat it? You know, yes. Mommy told me to never talk to strangers. Stranger danger, stranger danger. I think I may have seen a bulbasaur. Is Bulbasaur the Pokemon with a fire on its tail? I think I saw a bulbasaur walking near Viridian City Gym where I was when I was patrolling that area earlier. Alright, let's go check out Viridian City Gym. Oh my god, is this Officer Jenny? Hey, seen a bulbasaur? Uh, yes, yes, I have. Uh, it went uh that way went that way. Yeah, it went that way. <laughs> Very helpful. Thank you, Officer Jenny. I'm sorry. Pokemon is under renovation. You mean I'm not allowed to buy stuff yet? Is that what you mean? Hey, TMO8 bulk up. Oh, you can. Oh, wow. This guy can just teleport you places. That's awesome. That's actually really helpful. Heck up. My name is Martha. Martha fucker. You want to pass? Taste my frozen fury. Martha Tiara magic. That freak threw a rock at me. Work is so tiring. I'm so glad I have a woman to do all the cooking and cleaning for me. Yes, I'm a sexist pig. What are you going to do about it? Dude, that, that red mugshot is a mood. All right, I guess the Bulbasaur must be up here somewhere. Bro, I literally have... There's no way to get to that Pokeball. I'm so mad. I'm so mad right now. Literally molding. Uh, is this where the gym is? Oh, I guess it must be. Hello. Oh, there he is. 
Bulba, Bulba. All right, I found it. Oh my God, it's Giovanni's gym. What a weird statue. It's zoinks. Hey man. Oh my God. Professor Oak. Uh, I'll take it from here. Just come to daddy, little Bulba. <laughs> Oof. Now, really? I'm your owner. Don't be afraid, Bulbasaur. Of course you're nervous. It's your first time you've ever been out of the cramped up Pokeball. Yeah, that's a good boy. Are you hungry? Bro, it's it's a wild and a joke. Professor, what's Bulbasaur's best attack? Damn it, what now? <laughs> Wait, it has a bulb, and if there's sunlight, then I've gotta try it. So Bulbasaur, okay, yeah, this is this is fucking cool. Why would why would I send in Lumberjack when I have a Bulbasaur? <gasps> It's a woman Bulbasaur too. Yeah, so one really cool thing about the um, the manga is that like Red just like opens up the gym door or whatever and is like, dude, use the sunlight and attack. He, do he doesn't know what the move's called, but he's just like, bruh, just do something. Like surely so there'll be like, you know, I, 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 I thought that's super cool. Bye bye. And magically like that, Professor woke up. That was solar beam. You knew about Bulbasaur's solar beam attack? Nah. But I figured plants turn sunlight into energy and this guy has a plant on his back, so you... You just figured? <laughs> You're interesting. I have decided. This Bulbasaur is yours to keep. Professor, are you serious? Yeah, and to be honest, it seemed like the little fellow has taken quite a liking to you anyway. Wow, this is so awesome. Yeah, let's give him a nickname. I always call them Chief. But first, I've got to clear some misunderstanding, Professor. The reason why I entered your lab was so you could teach me to be better a Pokemon trainer. Do you know what it takes to be a great Pokemon trainer, boy? Does it mean knowing a lot of clever tricks, or does it mean having a powerhouse team in your arsenal? Hmm. If you think those are qualities that make a great trainer, then you're wrong. What makes a great trainer is what's in your heart. The connection you had with that Bulbasaur, that feeling from deep within, is the key to becoming a great Pokemon trainer. What's your name, boy? My name is Cal. Here you go, Cal. Let's go! They are like, fuck. Yu-Gi-Oh in this bitch. Believe in the heart of the cards, bro. You just, if you just enough love, dude, you'll just win. It's not hard. This is the Pokedex, a Pokemon encyclopedia. Whenever you meet a new Pokemon, it will automatically record its data. By the time you've completed this Pokedex, you may well have become a great trainer. Wow, me as one of the best? If you expect to complete this Pokedex or become a great trainer, you can't just stay in Pallet Town. Broaden your horizons. Why not start with Viridian Forest? It's north of Viridian City. You're bound to find a Pokemon you've never seen before. There, you'll also meet my... Meet who? Haha, <laughs> never mind. I'll see you around. Why would he just not tell me I'm gonna meet Green? Hmm. It was weakened by a Charmander's attack, but it couldn't have gotten far. Charmander, can you sense her? Maybe it's gone. That was her. She's still here. Let's go, Charmander. End of missing Pokemon chapter. Chapter 3, Saving Kangaskhan. Oh, I'm gonna say it, dude. They're doing a good job at uh, redoing the manga in, uh, I guess, video game form. So if you just don't want to read the manga, you could probably get away just playing the game. <laughs> oh, mom. I see. Yes, I understand, Professor. Can I speak to my son privately? Yes, I understand. Good luck in your journey, Cal. I'll be in my lab if you ever need me. So long, Professor. Why is this music so emotional, man? Mom, I gotta tell you something that will probably upset you. I always knew this day would come when where you're independent enough to go on your own journey. I just want you to know whether you're ready to take care of yourself. Mom, I am ready. I want to be a great trainer. Like father, like son. Go make mommy proud. You serious? I can go? Of course. Even if I had to said no, you would have secretly gone out on your own journey anyway. I just want you to be safe, okay? If you ever need anything, just know that mommy will be waiting back home in Pallet Town. Good luck, Cal. I don't... I feel uncomfortable that they're using the, the British way of spelling mom. <laughs> I don't know why. <laughs> I just... It just feels so wrong. <laughs> Anyways... Pog! All Pokemon can evolve at a lower level if their friendship is high enough. Generally, a Charmeleon will evolve into Charizard at 36, but if you manage to get its friendship high enough, you might even be able to evolve at least level 16. Okay, so that's their explanation for all the, the weird Pokemon levels. I mean, I guess from a video game perspective, I understand why, you know, the, the levels are the way they are, but I don't think it makes sense to take video game logic into anime and manga discourse or whatever, you know? It's like, uh, dude, this uh, TV show make no sense, but because this Pokemon is meant to evolve at this level, but it's not, or, you know, like, oh, Ash's Pikachu is leveled a thousand by now. Like, it, like levels do exist in the anime, but it's it's different. It's, they're different universes or whatever. Give me a Doduo. Yes, give it to me. Thank you. A lonely Doduo. You're not lonely any, anymore, my friend. All right, Viridian City. North of Viridian City, we get, yeah, like the fact Viridian Forest is to the left of Pallet Town is really screwing with me. I'm very busy woman, kid. I'm on an important mission, 
protect this world from devastation and to unite all peoples within our nation. So, okay, I gotta go north of Viridian City to go to Pewter, right? Hi, welcome to the Mark. Let me give you uh, some tips to be a smart buyer. If you want to buy something, just speak to me at the counter. You see the fridge over there? You can purchase drinks and sodas from there. That's all the tips I have. Have fun shopping. Okay, they just wanted to say you can buy sodas from here. That's cool. I like that because these are way better value than anything else. I don't know how I feel about my daughter listening to all these Miley Cyrus songs. <laughs> Smiley Citrus songs. <laughs> I honestly think that girl is a horrible influence. This ROM hack showing its age. This was probably made when uh, Wrecking Ball was popular. Ah, so I can just fly. Oh my god, okay. This is pretty cool. So we have Route 22 over here, which I imagine is the road to the Pokemon League. Hi, I'm Jasmine. I'm responsible for the registering trainers in the Indigo League. Do you want to register? Wait, you've already registered for the Indigo League. Not long ago. I'm sorry, but the Indigo League doesn't start until much later. Cool. I you sign up for the Indigo League? I've done that ages ago. Oh, that was a conversation. Can you see what I'm doing? I'm looking for my balls. It's big, thick, and... Okay, stop. Dude, who wrote this game? I think it can get a little bit of a pass because the manga is meant to be like, I guess, a more mature sort of Pokemon universe to an extent. Like, everybody loves to point out that scene where Charmeleon literally slices Arbok in half. So, I, yeah, it's a bit... It's different than just, you know... The, happy-go-lucky Pokemon world. I'm a Pokemon trainer just like you. I'm currently waiting for a stupid Viridian's gym leader to come back so I can fight him. Oh, you're gonna be waiting a while, honey. I like how um, all the towns are laid out. It's uh, very, very realistic more than more than video game, if that makes sense. I don't, know, I don't know how to explain it. I can, it's like, I can, I can view this being how it's laid out in the manga, you know, versus how it is in the actual games. Like, like it's not everything's like symmetrical and perfect, like uh, how it is in Fire Red Leaf Green. Sometimes when I'm walking Viridian Forest, I feel like there's a creature stalking me. It really frightens me. It's Mew, dude. It's cute. It, don't worry about it. It's a little cat. Kaku. Did you call me a cuck? Where is Junior? I can't find him anywhere. Where are you? Who's Junior? Come on, Mana. Do it for me. I need it. I'm a guy. I have needs. No, George. We're in public. What if someone sees us? Bro. Fine. We'll rehearse our dance routine one more time. <laughs> okay, thank God. Yoink. Sorry, this garden is off limits for the likes of you. Your heart is impure. You're a disgrace. But I'm so innocent. You may be, but the person controlling you isn't. Bruh. Oh god, okay, what's going on here? How dare you tell me to leave? I am God's gift to humanity. Sir, you have to leave. You're blocking the way to Pewter City. Why did it take five police officers to, to pick up one guy? How are we feeling about the animation to uh, wild Pokemon just, just popping in? Uh, I just realized changing your uh, changing your outfit means you don't get a back sprite, so I'm going to change back to the original outfit for a while. Cringe. All right, let's go this way then, I suppose. Oh, hello. Oh, good. I caught up with you. Pleased to meet you, Cal. I'm Daisy. I'm Professor Oak's granddaughter. I didn't know Professor Oak even had a granddaughter. My grandfather forgot to give you these pokeballs. He is so forgetful. These nuts. Thank you for helping my grandfather with his research. He is getting old. He can't travel like you. So you agreeing to help him fill that pokedex is really nice. See you around. And there's Agatha, right? Oh my god, she's not moving. Is she dead? Who are you calling dead? Sorry, you'll pay. You will pay. Pay for what? Every Pokemon has one or two typings. Each type is weak or strong against certain types. Fire type Pokemon are strong. Against yeah, we don't, I don't know why I'm reading this. Up ahead is Viridian Forest. Viridian Forest is filled with... But wait, did I not go through Viridian? Was Viridian Forest not the one to the left? I guess it was just a different forest. Cool, whatever. Let's go. The real Viridian Forest. I got confused. My apologies. Busby. <laughs> I'm recently seeing strange Pokemon like Dragonair and Golem in Viridian Forest. They shouldn't even be here. What on earth's going on? I wonder what homie's talking about. Oh, okay, buddy. Let's look for some Pokemon. Oh, Poliwhirl? Oh, well, look who we ran into. Are you all right? So that Poliwhirl has an owner. We thought it was wild Pokemon, so we attacked it. Don't take it personally. You did this to Poliwhirl, you'll pay. I, really? We're going to fight over... Oh, hello, Kangaskhan. Kangaskhan said, stop fighting. I've been waiting for you, Kangaskhan. You've been testing my patience, but now you're mine. Charmander attack. Man still has a Charmander and I'm out here with a Poliwhirl. Once I win, I'll be able to put its data in my Pokédex. Th that's a Pokédex? Hmm, he also has a Pokédex. What's so funny? My grandpa told me he'd given a Pokédex to someone else. I just didn't expect that person to be you. <laughs> dude, he's fucking laughing, dude. Grandpa? You mean Professor Oak? Why he gave you a Pokédex is beyond me. Well, never mind. I'll just get to show you how it's done. Charmander, final attack. That should do it. You're mine. Hmm, so Charmander's attacks weren't enough, huh? Hit it again, Charmander. There's something wrong. It's strong enough to repel a Pokeball, but it isn't attacking. Why? Is she protecting something? What's that on her stomach? Of course, that's it. Stop the attack. This Pokemon is mine. Don't you thinking you can go and take it? You don't understand. It's trying. Charmander, continue the attack. Polyworld, tackle Charmander. Get him the fuck out of here, bro. Hey, what the? What do you think you're doing? 
It got away. You'll pay for this. Charmander, we have a new target now. And we're finally battling. Yeah, I was I was waiting for the battle to come. Oh, look at that sprite. Blue's got drip. Green's got drip. Rival question mark, question mark, question mark. My man has a scyther. How are you going to have a Charmander and a scyther? Okay, that's fine. I'll go Dodo. Okay. All right, Dodo. You're going to come in handy. Never mind. Uh, Hopefully it doesn't kill. Sure. I do one crit and I'm dead. Dude, that is nothing. Am I meant to lose here? Oh my god. I feel like I'm meant to lose here. Bruh. That was pathetic. It's still around here. We should finish our match later. How did I lose, bro? Do, we, do you lose in the manga? I don't remember, to be honest. Oh, hello. Hey, guys. How are you doing? <gasps> Pikachu. Bro, I'm learning Ice Beam. It, can we... Dude, I'm level 13. Oh, is this the... Is this the Menopod? guy someday we will meet again because you're a novice i love how they gave everybody names well i mean i guess they do that in the actual games but like i don't, I don't know why i was surprised about that shut up it's a double battle this is pretty cool to see these guys early on you know usually you're just in the main games you're just used to seeing fucking caterpies and shit how am i gonna learn double slap after ice beam dude what is this what is the developer smoking no not my beedrill and my butterfly butterfree sometimes a pokemon will evolve when they have a high affection towards you yep i know that all right where the hell is this kangaskhan bro it's actually gotta be around here somewhere poison depletes your pokemon's hp slowly outside of battle once the hp reaches one they will recover from from the poison yeah that's that's convenient you're harvesting petri berries wow that that's pretty cool seeing nurse joy out in action you know like harvesting petri berries for for sick pokemon and just uh you know world building and stuff i guess yo i'm an environmentalist i'm just checking the ph levels of the water right now hey man have fun all right surely we're nearly we've nearly caught up with blue no where did that kind of yep okay i've got to go look for it bro why is he just in the water swimming that is so cursed ah there it is i was just about to leave the forest i wasn't sure where the hell it went are you all right i'm here to help grr bro i'm i'm literally I'm, I'm the good guy. We froze it solid. Let's go, boys. Imagine getting frozen like six turns in a row. That is just so unlucky. Dude, I've frozen so many Pokemon with Ice Beam. I feel like the rates of freezing is so high in this game. I knew it. Your baby is hurt. Ah, thanks a lot. Because of you, I lost a chance to... So that's the reason why you didn't fight back earlier. If Charmander's fire had hit your baby, it would have been really hurt. Oh, wait. What did you want? The baby. I've seen its symptoms before. It's poisoned. What? If we don't cure the poison soon, it's not going to make it. Um, I'll go with some antidotes from the Pokemon market. Are you crazy? It's a baby Pokemon. I won't be able to digest the medicine. Don't you know anything? What we need is a Pecha Berry. Pecha Berry is cure poison. Let's go look around for one. Man, I'll find a Pecha Berry for your baby. Someone must be here carrying one. Wow, that's convenient. I know just the person. Hey, Nurse Joy. Hello, I'm here having some Pecha Berries. Why don't you take one? Oh, wow, that's convenient. Thank you. So now if I just use this Pecha Berry, if I, if I just go out my way to get poisoned by like a, a Weedle or something, and I use this Pecha Berry, does this Kangaskhan baby just die? Is that, is, that, is, that what we're, is that what we're doing? Here's a Pecha Berry. Your baby will feel much better after she eats this. <laughs> your baby's all better now. If you hadn't interfered earlier, I would have caught it and taken it to the Pokemon Center. Oh, come on. You know it's not really winning if your opponent has a, is, a, is, a, is at a disadvantage. Huh? Feh, whatever. I'm out of here. My name's Cal. What's yours? If you would leave me alone... My name's Green. Poggers, we saved Kangaskhan. All right, let's get the hell out of this forest. Meanwhile... Hmm. <laughs> Why did the pH level suddenly increase? What's in there? Huh? Oh, Gyarados. Ew, that's enough Petra Berries. Is is someone there? And that was an Arbok. Uh-oh. Nurse Joy is getting demolished. Uh, the water here is so great. Ouch, what was that? Ha, ah, what bit me? Ah! Gyarados is in this small-ass pond? Is that, is that what you're going to tell me? Okay, well, that yeah, they're gone. End of the Saving Kangaskhan chapter. Chapter 4, Electric Rodent. Huh! I wonder what that's alluding to. Anyways, I think that's as good of a place as any to wrap up. Uh, if you guys want me to keep playing more of this game, I suppose, then let me know in the comments. Um, I wasn't, I'm not 100% sure if this is a series you guys really, really want to see, you know? If it's not, then feel free to leave suggestions on other games. But so far, I think this game is pretty cute. Uh, I'm excited to uh, just check out the manga universe of, of Pokemon. I, I think the manga is uh, very underrated. And, uh, you know, even if this, if this game, you know, inspires someone else to pick up the manga and check it out for the first time then i think uh that will be a win on my part anyways enough rambling i'll talk to you guys next time bye